Hey everyone, this is Victoria Queen and welcome back to this YouTube channel again, A Kingdom of Self-Love and Acceptance. If you are unaware about me, I'm a proud transsexual woman hailing from the land of the rising sun, Arunachal Pradesh. Well, I'm the first ever transgender beauty queen from Arunachal Pradesh and I'm so proud of myself that I am a pioneer. And this is what makes me motivate every day. Whenever I feel demotivated and demoralized by the comments that I always receive from the people or just being lonely and alone, um, this fact that I am the first ever transgender beauty queen from my stand, that makes me always motivated and encourage me to do my best and be a better version of myself and not for me only but someone who could truly relate to me who could see their reflection not just how i look or how i belong to their category but just feel the feeling that connection that they can receive from me by being able to relate to the journey that i have been through and that's what makes me always motivated and encourage me to do and go forward in life for a better, bright future. Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. Um, as I always told you uh, in my previous videos, to start HRT, you need a gender dysphoria certificate. For that, you need to consult a psychiatrist offline or online. Um, you have to take some session with them. Uh, this is what the procedure is. And they will eventually prescribe you or maybe not. I cannot guarantee you. It depends on the psychiatrist that you are having a consult with. So you need to be aware about it that you need the certificate first of all. And then you can appoint an endocrinologist. You can just share with their clinic and they will eventually have a, a point, set an appointment with the doctor and they will ask you to do some tests. That is something that you need to give, a report, give the report to them so they could accordingly prescribe your HRT, medicines, hormones, whatever it is called. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, uh, I have three medicine got prescribed from the doctor. I, the first one is, it's work for the block, what it calls, it's prevent or minimize the male estrogen in the body. It's basically block not really block but it minimizes the amount of the male uh, male testosterone which is the male hormone in the body and i take this as female estrogen which is a female hormone so i need to take this because even after all the surgery happens we have to keep on taking this because in our body there is nothing such like um, which provide sorry which, pro, which produce female hormones. So we have to keep on taking this on uh, under the provision of the doctor for sure. Never do self medication because self medication won't give you any benefits. Because I have the experience one. No matter how long you have been taking the self with it, the medicine that you have been you know, prescribed by yourself it won't give any growth in you but it can just prevent you keep on you would recall in the average level you are not going down you are not going up which is not really useful but uh, in some point it was helpful for me because it, it helped me to preserve my femininity Okay, the third one is the pencil. 
it's called this medicine name is called pincel, which is used to for the what is called prevention of the hair falls. So you might you might have aware regarding this, right? That trans women have this issues, hair falls from this side, which makes our forehead very manly, and this is not really something which we appropriate. We all want to look feminine as we feel feminine and express feminine because we are a woman. <laughs> okay, this is what I have to tell you that I actually, okay, let me tell my daily routine. I'm so very excited for this. Um, this is the estrogen, estrogen that I take. Um, its name is Everton. Well, I take this before my breakfast and before my dinner and and I take this after my breakfast and after my lunch and I take this at my bedtime the time I'm going to sleep yeah the thing is you cannot take sorry excuse me yeah you cannot take all of this together because huge amount of mg you take it will be more riskier for your health it will be more unhealthier for your health because your body might be reacting in a way that you will never even expect and it might cause your organs which will be get affected for taking a lot of medicines so this is the uh, disadvantages of taking HRT like if you are looking forward for hormone replacement therapy I suggest you not to do self-medication because your health is very important this is what I believe you need to take care of your health first of all and then you can just slowly start with your process if you don't have a dream like that um, in a very specific young age like I want to do this like as my as my dream I wish to be the first transgender woman beauty queen Arunachali to represent my staff at Miss Diva which is the national pageant for the Miss Universe so basically it's Miss Universe India I wish to to be there someday this is what I dream to be <laughs> my biggest goal is to be Miss Diva so I that's why I started at this very young age to come out and express myself because I have dreams and I, I know the value of time because you cannot just wait for the perfect moment you have to create your own perfect moment this is what I have been following as my daily routine I whenever I wake up what I feel what I uh, tell myself is you have to do it no matter what you have to do it you have to keep going no matter how much you face struggles and problems in life this is what life it is all those pain hate love uh, acceptance rejection all those are a part are the elements which is being combined 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 so sorry for that Combine and create the term life. And once you acknowledge this fact, no one can stop you. Not even those, what it called, hormones, which will cause your organ. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, this is what it is. My video ends here, and your journey starts from now. Go acknowledge this fact to start the HRT if you wish to be as if you feel desire for it. And one one thing I need to tell you is if you are a trans woman, it's not always mandatory that you have to take hormones. There are some trans women who are are not healthy enough to be eligible to take this so that just prevent 
the medication and started living as they are. They, they express themselves, they are confidently beautiful in themselves, even though without the transitioning process. So never think that hormones are the only way that you could be called as a trans woman. Never say these things to yourself to or to others. Being as a trans woman is not something that we have chosen to be. God has made us like this. And I got a lot of questions from everyone in my past that why you want to change yourself? God made you a man, you know, you, they gave you a beautiful face, beautiful hand, make you very perfect as a man. Why you have to change it, what God has given to you? If that is their question, my answer would be a question either. If it is so, God has made the trees, God has made all those natural minerals, then why we make it artificial? Why we, we have to cut the trees and build house? Because we need it. We cannot just live or sleep in an, under the tree, right? We need a home. We need a shelter to stay under the roof. This is what it is. I'm saying this again because what the thing I have just said is what it is. Not everything that God has made is meant to be the same. Sometimes we have to modify it if we are not really comfortable with it. God made us, they, they say like uh, we are not this much snob, uh, smart enough to have a technology in the previous generations, like in my ancient time, right? So God has made us like that, not being as advanced and modern people, right? But we have made ourselves more modern because it's about the need that we need. It's about the need. That's it. I wanted to change my body because I don't feel relatable to this body. I don't feel like that this is my body. That is why I am changing my body. I'm not changing myself. Myself is what I feel inside of me as a woman. And body is something which I cannot relate to it. That is why I started to be a, what it calls started to transition. There are some trans women who are very confident and very comfortable with their male body either. And you cannot call them men. They are trans women. Either they are comfortable with their body or not, a trans woman will be a trans woman. A woman, trans woman, a woman, that's it. Okay, I'm ending this video here. What I have needed to say about the hormone therapy I've just told, and, I, and also I have said so many things where I got distracted from the um, topic that I was supposed to be focused on. <laughs> Okay, this is what my video is all about for today. And actually, I was not well today, so I took a leave. And I just, and I just felt like laying on bed one make, makes me more feel better, right? You have to be active and energetic when you are sick or weak. So I decided to just create a video instead of just laying on the bed being useless. I never stop, honestly. Even if it is my off, I ended up making a video or making my gowns or sketching out a new design. Yes, I am a part-time model and a fashion designer also. If you haven't acknowledged yet, you can check it on my Instagram account, which is Miss Victoria Queen. If you wish that you could truly relate to me and love me, you can follow me. Thank you so much. And I might follow you back. <laughs>